Hello, this is Calm, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Wolf Among Us. This is part number two of episode number four in Sheep's Clothing, I think it's called. In the last episode, we uh, found something out from Nerissa, aka uh, if you take the ribbons off, then the head comes off, and something about a spell or something like that. Yeah, it's very important, so I do recommend checking it out, but now uh, we have to go to Beauty and Beast apartment because they called us about something. Yeah, I don't really know what, but yeah. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Oh god, it's Kenny. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That um, let's knock on the door. Oh. What do you want? Nice to see you too. Well, you're just you called. around knocking on doors. You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? What the hell is your problem? I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. All right, Kenny, so calm. So have you, Bigby. Yet what you mean? Sneaking around in secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Are you still and mad I hear about, about that? All night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast. If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? I am not playing these games with you, Kenny. Seriously. AKA Beast. I know it's Beast, but it's, it's your Kenny. Pal. Big B. For walking dead. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Bloody hell. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you eh. to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him in. Um. I just talk about living in the past. The way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Um, I right, was this. Fighting about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why. Um, is there anything else? We'll this later, but we need to talk to Big B. I don't know if there's anything else we can walk at. We'll talk. Um, I don't think we'll knock on the door. I don't know. Come out in a minute. There we go. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say: centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place—it looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Nice. Hey, no, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Yeah, I doubt you so came. You called to get a house with you of me. Help. Did you end up going to the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? Um, I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but. I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. Don't worry, I'll catch him. what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? Fair enough. We just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... What the... Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? 
Um, are you gonna get that? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll. Well, that one well. was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? Um, I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. You do know I'm on a murder case, don't you? And as far as I'm concerned, wasting my time is an obstruction of justice. You exactly. Want to you. No, Bigby. I'm sorry. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. There we go, we're getting somewhere here. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? So we can pretty much put an end to this, so you don't have to live in fear of the man anymore. But you're making this way goddamn difficult. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money... Who? Wait, who's Jersey? Went, yeah. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh. oh. Yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot yeah, of Mary got the axe. Around. Fucking bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. Of course it is. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town. But never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place. But it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. Um. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages. Johan, eh? But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Fair enough, I guess. You shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I don't... Probably not. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? Hmm. This all goes sideways. I'd like to know where it's coming from. Oh, I actually don't know. Um. So it's either going to be the, um. He pawn or the butcher shop. You know what? Let's go to the, the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. 
there may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Alright, let's get to it. Let's get, let's get down to I don't work, know boys. what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? Yeah, sure. What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Yeah, what don't worry. I'll can handle you it. Help us out. I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I love how when I got it, was like, "What the hell do you want?" <laughs> and I was like, "I know you do what's right. I know you do the right thing." So Beast has had originally like a whole 360 personality change within like the past eight minutes or so of I of me being here. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Oh. Um. No, let's stop. Let's, let's be nice. Let's, let's put that out. <laughs> um. Big B Wolf? Hey. <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Oh, I think uh, I'm just that hellfine. Let's see, what do we have in stock? Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special, New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. I know about the deliveries. The ones going in and out of here. Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> We don't raise the cows in here. Beast we all know. He said these packages aren't meat. Well, what else would they be? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. Um, There's a, mind if I walk around? Here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Oh my god, he's gone. Well, I was heading. The hell's up? The what the hell does the button do? Oh yo, what the hell is that? Eh! I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. No, this is kind of disgusting. I'm not going to joke. I won't lie. This actually looks... Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Man said safety purposes. What is that to be dangerous of in here? Come on, damn it. Uh, this is disgusting. It's not for everyone. That's not exactly that's not really exactly what I said. Go on to the front. You know what I like by now. I think everyone in this damn town knows what I'm like. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Get me killed. Use your legs to lift, not your back. Huh? You'll get hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you doing? Please, please, Bigby, please don't. Bigby, what happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, and I'll be on my way. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice um... to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got down the hook in the deep freeze. They? Do 
You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. No, don't worry, don't worry. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Why is everyone, why is everyone scared of me? Like, oh crap, I need to lift this, actually lift this up. Come on, spam the X button. Damn, I lift. <laughs> Big be strong as hell in this game. Hey, yo. What the hell is in here? Whoa, nosebleed. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. All right, fair enough. Warning lights. What does it mean, run? This business. It's all I've ever had. These lights, Johan. Warn them I was here. I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. Yeah, so keep your air on, goddammit. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Um, okay, let's have a look at this. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Um, what's this? This got was on the chalkboard. Huh. Looks like math or something. Wait, there's something behind it. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I, I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Well, what's... Am I on there? I don't know. I can't. Re I can't really see the top of it. Uh, that symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Hey! It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Um... Not really, I don't even want to know to be honest. Um... What's this sort of device on the floor? Can I actually like do anything with it? Wait, hold up. James... Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Huh. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The gear. 
and slave labor to work it. So these must be the raw materials. No wonder he needs so much. Yeah, well, nobody yeah. needs that much. Why? Because why it not? Like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. When I get my hands on that crooked bastard, I'm gonna make him pay for all this. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? He ditched. No, no Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got... Mary no took way. him, goddammit. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. We couldn't. Yeah. With stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend. Um, we'll find a way to protect you. Don't worry. My shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. No problem. All right, let's head over to the thingy. What's it called? Lucky Pawn. Now let's go. Damn! Well, anyway, this probably would be the perfect time to end on this episode here because we're probably just heading over to Lucky Pawn now. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, hope you tune back in the next episode to see if we find the magic piece or not. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!